Nathan Graves, 989, interviewer and spokesman for the bridging community. Lame. Unwardle. Hey guys, this is Nathan Graves, 989, and I'm here with the creator of Last Exile, the abridged series, Unwardle. Unwardle, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. All right, my first question is, what inspired you to make an abridged series? Um, yeah, probably the same thing that inspires most people. Um, you know, I saw other ones on YouTube and thought, hey, I can do the same thing with an anime that I like. Um, then just, you know, I, I guess I've always sort of been creative and wanted to apply my special brand of sarcasm to something that I liked a lot, because... Probably the worst thing that anything can do ever is to be liked a lot by me, because I'll just completely rip it a new one whenever I can. Why Last Exile? Um, It was my favorite anime that hadn't already been taken by someone else. Um, I Not only that, it was the one that was most obvious. It It, it is my favorite. It is one of my favorite anime shows, but... It's there's so many things that are just slightly wrong with it that you think to yourself, no, there's absolutely no possible way in any real world sense that any of this could be happening, which, of course, you know, willing the suspension of disbelief works just fine in other stuff. But and in this, too. But if you look at it from a purely objective standpoint, as I am like to do, it's just sort of the way my brain works that, you know, you, you realize all the ridiculous stuff in that. And that just gave me so many ideas right off the bat for like little little twists I could do, like, you know, Lavi's opening rant in the very first episode about the fountain is just one example of that, and there's, it's pretty much half of what I do in it, so. That was the reason for that one, plus, um, you know, I, there were a couple of Cowboy Bebop ones already in existence, so I didn't want to try to make my first thing something that someone else had already done, so that would have been my other choice. What's the process you go through to make an episode? I basically script script most of the things out, I guess. Well, at least I did for the first one. It's been a little bit different since then. I, uh, I'll, I'll generally have the whole script, then I'll record all the lines individually, um, sometimes exhaustively, especially some of the lines that I write for myself are well nigh impossible to say. And they take 20 or 30 repetitions to actually get out the way I want them to. Um, but yeah, although lately it's been a bit more of I'll write a scene and I'll record that and I'll edit that whole thing up and then I'll do another scene and then when I have all the main scenes that I want, then I'll uh, then I'll add sort of filler stuff in between each thing to try to make it flow a little better. Um, yeah, the the main thing about Last Exile is that it starts out sort of episodic. Maybe over you'll you'll get basically an episode in one or two episodes of the show, but then as it gets on, it's just like pure continuity right from beginning to end and you don't get any resolution within any of the individual episodes, so that's why it's a lot easier to sort of go scene to scene like that. But then it's yep, yeah, um So I script it do all the voices, possibly send them away to have other people voice them. Then I'll soundtrack the entire thing pretty much beginning to end before I put any video on it. Although I'll have a pretty good idea of the video that I want to use for each of them. And then only lately have I ever even bothered trying to actually match the lip flaps to it. But eh, anyway, so yeah, script, soundtracked, video edit. How do you come up with your jokes? Uh, they're mostly drawn directly from the show, um, although an awful lot of my inspiration is from other comedy series. The most notable one would, of course, be Monty Python. Uh, but in terms of the references, I try to think what's going on in the original show that is somewhat like something else that somebody else has done, which is, of course, where my all my plagiarism things go. And then there's all the running jokes that I put into it, which I just try to make try to make sort of a amusing commentary on something that happens, but then keep it going absolutely as long as I can, 
possibly to the point of non amusement, but I I don't know. Is Mullen getting raped ever gonna stop being funny? I doubt it. And um you know, taken exactly from canon, it's right in there, practically. With a little bit of hyperbole on my part. Um then or you know the lame goat's the best example. I mean, there is a goat in the show. When it tips over it makes a bleeding sound, so that was pretty easy to turn into a lame goat. Um, and then I just sort of let my ridiculous imagination do its do its thing. Um, I'm clearly very sarcastic, and <laughs> yeah, I let sarcasm rule. Who's your favorite character to voice? It used to be Alex, but lately it's actually been She Who Must Be Obeyed, Sophia, and Lavi. I, I don't really know why it is. Alex, for the obvious reason that because he's so... Ab- the, the problem with doing Alex, of course, is it's almost impossible to ad-lib him because um, doing any of... He, part part of his voice and characterization is that what, anything he says has to be absolutely perfect. And so if you stutter or screw up a line at all, it suddenly... The veil of Alex is gone. Whereas Lavi, of course, is just a really stringent falsetto voice. And um, She Who Must Be Obeyed is just a really super high version of my uh, Dia voice, which is a slightly higher voice of my Kostavi. They're all, I think I've got three voices that I use in different pitches. Um, but it, you know, uh, so lately She Who Must Be Obeyed and Sophia have been getting the most um wicked and sort of hiddenly vicious lines that saying in a sweet voice that you know i'm gonna tear your balls off and feed them to you kind of thing what a bird series are you currently watching i am currently watching let me go through all of these ones on my subscriptions here yes uh tyrus gundam wing abridged uh, Reese Mix V2's Tenchi Moyo, Reims Creators, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, which is that you know, there's there's so many Yu-Gi-Oh! GXs out there, and I I forget how I stumbled across his, but it's really good. Anyway, um, Cassius 614's Rose of Versailles, uh, of course the ones that I'm guest spotting in the Kanata Productions. Evangelion, or Rebuild, I can never remember what he calls it. Um, If Lord Quadros ever releases a new episode, (laughs) which apparently he's going to do. Um, And yeah, A Bridge Snakes, Bennett the Sages, Elven Lead, that's a brain fart. Um, And in addition to, you know, all the big ones, Gantz, and uh, uh, yeah. I, I rewatch Berserk all the time because it's great and different Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. Uh, have I missed any? Oh yeah, Team Four Star obviously. That's the one. And uh, I think I think those are all the main ones that I watch or rewatch. What about anime? What other anime do you watch? Pretty much anything that comes in this sort of. Um, 26 are limited limited run series of animes. I'm really I, I, I when when that's when that format of it works, I really like it. Um I'm just generally in it fan of animation in general. I love I love the format of you know, you you don't have to worry about it allows you to do all the special effects stuff that big budget movies do, one with a lot lower budget but two, without having the problem of your special effects and your main characters looking so radically different. So, you know, it's great for any sort of fantasy, fantastical setting like that. Um, so yeah, what have I got in that series of... The problem, the, the problem with anime in Canada, of course, um, is that we get all the anime late. Uh... Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm just drawing the blank on it right now. Well, I Cowboy Bebop. Bah, 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 bah. Nah, 
There is stuff. And pretty much pretty much all the shows of the Bridge series that I watch too. Um yeah, terrible with names. <laughs> so if it's not right in front of me, I tend to miss it. Um yeah. <laughs> 